Hi everyone, this is Ayush, the co-founder of FilterPixel. FilterPixel is an AI software. The way it works is it analyzes all your photos and classifies them into three major pillars, selected, rejected, and duplicates. It rejects all the photos that are blurry or out of focus or are closed eyes. You can always review what it is rejecting or selecting and can make changes. Your changes will be learned by FilterPixel and it will customize its AI algorithm according to your preferences. After you are done with your review process, you can actually export those photos anywhere such as Lightroom or to your local folder. You can also edit while exporting. With a single click, you can train the AI as per your style. Let me show you how FilterPixel works. As you open the app, the first thing you have to do is to create a new project. You can create the project by clicking the button here or you can drag drop the folder containing your raw files or JPEGs. So once you drag drop the folder, you name this project. So let's say the name is Joe and Emily. And then I can actually choose the genre that represents this shoot the best. I'm going to choose wedding and events here and then start now. As you can see, the culling has already been started here. This means the AI is currently analyzing all of your photos and trying to figure out which are better. As the AI has done its work, it has actually classified photos into three major piles, selected, rejected, and if you go to apply filters, you can also see the duplicates. We will go through the selected and untag the photos that we don't want. And now I will go through all the photos the AI has selected quickly and see how I can review the AI selections. So as you can see, as I'm going through, I'm actually using these faces on the right hand side. These are key faces, which means these are the faces of important people that appear inside the photo. And as I'm going through, I can quickly check what I really want from these photos. For example, like this photo specifically, everyone is looking at the camera, but I don't like the expression uh, of this person. So I'll go and check what the AI has. So I'll see what the AI is showing me. It has grouped all of my three images together. I'll just zoom in and we'll check if there is a better expression. So obviously I feel like this is looking at the camera and is better. So I'll just make this as accept and we'll make this as clear tag. So you are done with the entire review process. The next step you have to do is just click the export. By clicking the export, I can just export it to Lightroom with one single click and all the star ratings, color ratings, whatever I have done in the app, including the tags that is selected, rejected or duplicates will be transferred to Lightroom or to any other photo editing software. But here I would use export with edit rather than only export. And this is because I want the AI to also edit photos for me rather than just exporting it to Lightroom. Once I click edit and export, it actually takes me to the filter pixel editing app in a single click. It already shows me that we are at step three automatically where we just have to choose the profile. So I can choose any of these pre-built AI profiles that are created by photographers around the world according to their style. If it matches with my style, I can just use them with one single click or I can go to my AI profile and create my own AI profile by uploading a Lightroom catalog of 3000 photos. If I do that, I just receive an email within 24 hours from FilterPixel that my AI profile is trained and I can see it over here. Otherwise, I can choose any profile that is provided by expert. For example, here there are four profiles, so I'll go with Adore by Dominic and I'll click edit with Adore Dominic. So now the editing is done and we can take all of these photos to Lightroom for the review process. To do that, we will click sync with Lightroom. Now, once we click sync with Lightroom, the Lightroom will automatically open and it will show us a pop-up to take all these photos into Lightroom. And we will click import and it will start the import process at the top. All of our selected and edited photos are directly going into Lightroom in one single click. Then we can start reviewing changes. So let's look at this photo. If we go into the develop mode, we can see that the AI has created a different kind of tweaks to this photo. And then we are done.